In this video, I will talk about the new search arbitrage tool Maximizer. It is created by CEO of Tonic and it is for tracking, for optimization and for automation. It is currently in beta version and it is free to use. So let me show you the dashboard of Maximizer and I will cover in this video how you can integrate with Facebook and how you can add your search feeds. So um, there's also a guide how to start with Maximizer. You can click on it and um, they have basic setup information. They have first network account. Network account is basically the main account and then you can add like multiple publisher accounts. So for example, um, if you're running search arbitrage internally, then you can use like your, um, your account and then you can create a second account for just for a client or maybe for for employees. I mean, you can do different setups. So, um, and then you have a publisher account, you can click over it and then they, ha they have a basic um, integration guide. So first, when you have um, got the access, go to the integration and here you can see that they have integration with the uh, Tonic, um, Cedo and Domain Active. System one is currently coming soon. They will probably have it in coming weeks. And uh, for traffic sources, they have TikTok, Taboola, Outbrain, Facebook. And I mean, that's pretty much the biggest traffic sources. So um, you can um, you can sign up and start using this tool. So first you will go to the integration and then you will click on the... Um, um, so let's, you can add the tonic. So for example, this is pretty straightforward. Just click on the add tonic and... Um, add tonic or domain active and then just add the API and, um, and and that's it, you're good to go. It is pretty simple and straightforward. And then um, I think same for Cedo. And for Facebook, you you, you connect with your um, personal Facebook ad account. So as you can see, this is added with my personal Facebook account. And then you will click on connect and then it will ask to add, you, add your ad accounts um, and, um, and that's it. So after adding your ad accounts, um, it will also show you the, um, the list of ad accounts and also list of pixels. And then you can select which ad account you want to add and which um, Facebook pixel you want to use. So I will say not, not now now. And um, so let me go to the sources. So you can see that I have added the tabula, I have added the Facebook uh, ad accounts. And in pixels, I have added one Facebook pixel. And, um, and another thing after adding the Facebook pixel, you have to add, uh, for example, you want to add view content, you have to add, you want to add this event, this event, and click is the main click, main conversion. So I have selected it as purchase. You can also um, select it as lead. It is up to you. And, and that's it. It is pretty straightforward, man, extremely simple. And in networks, you can see that Tonic is already added. So when you create the offer, um, automatically that offer will be created in Tonic. So as you can see this, uh, for example, when you are, so um, one thing happened when I was adding the Tonic, um, this was red. And um, even I was able to create an offer and I was able to run it on, on Facebook. But um, I didn't see anything on Tonic. Um, and the issue was that this was not integrated. So it, just make sure there is a tick sign. That means it is 100% uh, um, set up correctly. Otherwise, you can you will still be able to run offer, and it will show a search feed. For example, if there is no search feed, it will show a CDO search feed. So um, just make sure it is green. And um, and when you have created the offer, so for example, let's say I create an offer, and I, I say let's say. Have it as C um, USA donate, and I want to run it on on Tabula. That's it. So I will create. I will select the traffic source. I have Tabula account, and I have a separate Tabula pixel, and have it as C. Symptoms, treatment, symptoms, USA, English. 
So after um, uh, creating on and selecting on create, you can also add keyword. So after I click on create, I have got the link. And so this offer will be created in tonic. It will take some time, as you know, it takes like um, 30 minutes or 15 minutes. And for system one, maybe 30 minutes or one hour. So right now, when I click on this link, it will go to a um, CEDO. So you can see that it is straightforward working, but but this is uh, not tonic. This is um, CEDO. So um, this is probably they have added like um, a backup um, a backup feed. So, um, I mean, when I click on, I mean, if, if I start running this ad, probably I will not get the revenue. Um, so I have to wait wait some time till I can go to the tonic and see if that link is approved. And then I, um, I, I can start the campaign. So it is pretty, pretty straightforward. And uh, I can see the dashboard. I, and there the, the um, um, reporting is pretty detailed. So I want to have the right data. So let me go to the Facebook. Oh, and also, uh, I wanted to show you one more thing. So, it's a campaign name. Campaign name. So, um, you can see that there, um, this dental campaign is uh, Search Arby Raj. And then there are other campaigns. So um, you have to make sure that you are using the Facebook ad account that you are adding to Maximizer. It is just for search arbitrage. Otherwise, I mean, your report will not se look sexy. I mean, it will have a lot of other information, a lot of other offers that you are running. So just make sure it is just for search arbitrage. And um, and then, I mean, um, you can properly track it. So uh, right now, let's see. 14. I'm not even sure if so. I have recently started running a campaign to desk maximizer. Um, so then till UK campaign, you can see that 14 clicks, eight conversions, and um, it's currently in uh, loss. Um, I think because um, RPC is zero right now, um, it will take some time to get the RPC and then um, it will start showing the profit. So um, I mean, it looks pretty good. And for you also have an optimization, you can add uh, different keywords. I haven't added the dental UK keywords, but you can you can do a test. You can add different variants, and then you can also add some automations. Um, yeah, you can you can select a template blog. Um, they have TikTok. They don't have anything for Facebook. Um, yeah, because Facebook does not work like that. So they have for Taboola and TikTok. So that's pretty cool. I mean, there are so many things. Um, and it can probably replace um, Clickfair um, because it has more to offer. It is more easier and faster. That's what I think. They have done an amazing job. And I mean, after functionality is all complete in this software, they probably they will work on UI and they will make it really bad, really amazing. So um, this is it. Um, I will... Um, I will make a next video uh, next week and show you the results that I'm getting and how I'm using the optimization and and I mean how it is improving my campaigns. I will I will cover it in my next video. So um, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.